we're trying to find the mass of the precipitate that will form if we mix some of these compounds together. Now we're given the molarity of NaI, so let's start with that. We have 0 0.110 mole per liter of NaI, and we're gonna multiply that by the liters so that we can figure out how many moles of that we have, 0 0.750 liters. So we should be able to figure out how many moles of NaI are being reacted times 0.75, that's gonna be equal to 0 0.0825 mole of NaI. Now, if we look at these ratios here, let's note that if we have two moles of NaI, we'll have one mole of this stuff, but uh, we also have, if we look over here, um, we need one, two moles of this stuff will also yield one mole of this stuff. So since we're trying to figure out the precipitate that will form, we're gonna to wanna to figure out how many moles of this has formed based off of how many moles we have here. Um, so since it's two to one ratio, this should be 0 0.04125 mole, keeping in mind this should probably just be three sig figs. But that's how many moles of the PBI2 that we have in the final uh, precipitate. So let's go and figure out what the um, molar mass is here, PBI2. PBI2 is going to be equal to lead is 207.2 and then the I is going to be 2 times 126.905 and that should yield 461.01. Noticing we only have one decimal in our final answer. So this is essentially the grams per mole of the lead iodide thing. So let's go and multiply those together and essentially cancel out the moles, right? Because 461.01 gram per mole. If we multiply that by 0 0.04125 mole then uh, that's just going to cancel out the moles and give us the grams, which should be the mass, right? So let's go and multiply 461.1, and we're getting the answer of 19.0. If we have any sig figures, we have, it's a multiplication problem. So we have one, two, three, four sig figs, and then only three sig figs here. So the answer should have three sig figures, 19.0 uh, grams of the PBI2 in the uh, precipitate.